kids, it's just a traditional thing to do every year. If you talk to the kids, the kids will not mention loyalism. They'll not mention church. They'll not mention orangeism or whatever. It's comradeship, it's teamwork, and it's built in friendships. These friendships last for life. Alternatives are involved in the Bonfire Project because um, every year we have noticed that there are at least 10 bonfires in the Greater Shankill area that draw young people from their, their area into the, the bonfire site. So we go out really and engage young people around some of the uh, community safety issues such as tires, rubbish, litter, antisocial behaviour that it can and has occurred in the past around some of the bonfires in the Greater Shankill area. So we go out and try and reduce that to the best of our ability. We use detached youth work uh, skills to do that. Right, well what we're doing tonight is bonfire safety. We do this, alternatives on the Shankill Youth Safety Partnership do this on a yearly basis. But basically we go around the various bonfire sites across the Greater Shankill. We talk to the kids, we engage with them, we use the patch youth work to do it. We get them interested and how we do it is talk to them about their own culture. But there was a bottle of wine! Oh, so I was the July, It changed from the calendar, changed the summer. What do you say? We are able to engage them through actually looking at our culture. It's obviously a positive thing for young people to learn about their culture and why we have bone fires. But through that then we were able to talk to them about community safety and keeping young people safe. It's phenomenal to watch young people, um, particularly marginalised young people, who are involved in a bone fire in their area and they get the social skills they get, the interpersonal skills they get, the the friendships they build, the comradeship, there's a massive say to community spirit. The there there is just there's so many it's it's hard to name them all, you know. Well, one of the greatest things that I see in terms of positivity is the teamwork. Um, just recently we watched, it must have been in and around 20 young people um, up the side of uh, one of the larger bonfires in the Greater Shankill area and they were just, it was, they were like a wee sort of army of ants just bringing the pallets up to the top and they were talking and they were communicating and they were they were chatting about it and they sort of stopped to give us a wee, a wee bit of a spiel about why they were involved and stuff and just to, just to watch that, it's, it's phenomenal, you know these are young people that maybe the best part of the, the, the year aren't doing too well in school, they're not getting involved in, in certain things, but this here, they are fully committed to it, they are dedicated to it, there is a passion about it, they are, the, the, the parade, when they're talking about it, their, their parade just beams out of them. You know, one of the things that we that we done was we brought the, the fire brigade down to speak to them, and the fire brigade was actually asking them about the community safety, but they were telling about the bonfire, why they do it, they were big into it, you know, that there are young people up there that, you know, that would try and climb up, and they're saying to them, listen, get down off the bonfire, don't be, don't be climbing up there, you shouldn't be climbing up there, and the young people are actually listening to, to the other young people, so it's like a hierarchy. That they see a wee bit of structure and they can respond to, to that. They, they respond to that, you know, and to me it's like a big stake, a big massive stake in the community where it draws people together. It, it's like a magnet, you know, and it's a really positive magnet. Yes, there are some negatives around bonfires, but I truly prefer to concentrate on the positives. They're phenomenal. It's, it's a phenomenon in, in the loyalist community.
we don't need that much Just someone that starts, starts the spark in our bonfire hearts
every crack and every street on the shankle. Like a hill and ankle cowboy. <laughs> I've been sweeping this road for years now. And I take pride in what I do. Because this is my road. It's where I'm from. Born and bred on the shankle. I've seen a lot of uh, sweeping changes on the road. But luckily some of the changes planned for the road didn't happen. We now have people from different countries living here. And when I'm clearing up after a Saturday night, it sometimes looks more like Shankla dish. <laughs> There's food lovers from Turkish kebabs and Chinese takeaways, including the good old curry chip. But the one thing that I would not change is this brush. It's the one that gave me when I started. Okay, it's had a few new heads and shafts, but to me it's the same brush. <laughs> What we in the shank will call a character. But I can think of an audience for him. <laughs> on Ferdy or his bar, no matter what the weather, on the top day of July, they kill them all the butter, they dangle them on the hammer, and the flags were flying high. They'll launch it for the fans, and all the kids were dancing down the shank on the road, and a company it marches beneath the orange church on the loyal Sandy Road. Here, Bill, can you sing Tanner? Tanner for the teenage away? <laughs> well, I better go on. When the police clear up the ground, I clear up the ground. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super male. Here, dude. As bold. As bold. It's off the work I go. Hi, Dick, what's happening? Hi, I'm a way of green eye. It's fantastic. <coughs> No, I'm not going to be I mean, my man, she's fairly serious. Not only for that, but I'm going to just stay in all night as well and hang up. I know. Our Stephen's been doing it for three years now. My man says, I was too young, but now I'm allowed, I'm telling you, it's going to be about there. What? No. <laughs> just as all the other lads are here doesn't mean they're baby sick of me. Aye, but they're older, so they get to be in charge, because that's the way it works. Not for years, but now I'll be a boss. It's about being here like this and knowing what you're doing. Oh, what the fuck? Can you sit on sister of yours? I feel for you, mate. Aye, mate, you want to see him? Our Stephen jumped in and kills him. They sit at the top of the alcohol every night. Watching over at Springfield Road to see if them Phoenix are coming up out of sight. Another sofa. At the top of that bone, <laughs> it's a teaser. Some end off on the next street, give it to us. Bust him before he go, mate, but it says, Three hand, dangerous, and we need a claim. What do you know? Aye, we'll finish that research for a shift, and come all down. There's no trouble when the building's brilliant. But here, you have to be careful in your building so it doesn't collapse, because it might hurt or even kill someone. Aye, brilliant. Well, my aunt, we're coming around doing some research for her mates. So bring her sister on down, right? Right, right away to there. Sick. <laughs> oh, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And then it goes back, and then it goes back, and then it goes back. Oh, on to a throne, stronger than Rome, a violent prone, poor people's own, but it's my own.
to fly to. I should have thought of not one of them who give me a sensible explanation. They just told me to go and Google it. That's okay. My mum said ask her dad when he comes home. That she always says, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. Anyways, I did. Google it. And guess what, guys? Well, there's millions of flies, but it's sure like you, I'm coming from Shankill, then there's millions of legs. Legs? What are you I know, but seriously, we're still on the runner. Do you remember what they said about it in geography? No. What did they say? I never listened. Is it all bullshit? me? Well, if you had a listen, you would have learned that there are 32 counties, 26 in Ireland, and 6 in Northern Ireland. And I didn't have to do that. I must be learning something. Yeah, well, next time I heard Jeff with the Yiki. Piss off. I never heard of that. You're using the game? Right, that's what a fat finding they find. I figured this out for herself because anyone I ask tells me something different from the next one. And every time I step outside my door, there's never flames there. Nah. And to be honest, I haven't got a flipping clue what they're all about. I know, I just get more and more confused. But like, do we know why they do it? Why do just keep picking up more? Just, just, is that your answer? Yep. There's your dad, right in front. Go see what you can find out. I mean, back here Wednesday before Bound Campus. Why do we have to do that? Just, 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 just. just, just. just. When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a wave in flags. And then it goes back, and then it goes back, and then it goes back. Oh. Born to a throne, stronger than Rome, a violent throne. Poor people's zone, but it's my own. All I have known, where I go. Put it on your 
hug. And then. Cracker. It's class. But 
to see I want to be holy out of here. No idea. But whoever it was, he's a legend in my eyes like, here. Because of me getting my exams for this early, my ma, right, has an agreement with me. Come out, sleep out, and collect. Look, look, look. You see, you're a mess now, you know, because she she's got that with me, maybe seriously. And you see, when you're out, she can go and get blocked, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if that's the case, my ma must be dead slow, you see, you're ma! She's really up the mountain, you've seen both! What? What's your name? Come on, man! 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 Well, no problem. It wasn't us, like, <laughs> It was an accident. If it wasn't you, how do you know what I was going to say? It was an accident. I want to play the fifth commandment. <laughs> <laughs> what, you want to honour thy father and thy mother? What? No. I mean, I saw some man on TV, right? And this guy, he says to the old guy, I want to play the fifth commandment, so I don't incinerate myself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see as a lawyer tell us today? To take the fifth amendment. We did not incriminate himself. That's what I said. Incinerate. Right. What does incinerate mean? Oh my goodness, that means that you're making someone appear guilty of a crime. Ah, right. Yeah, you're trying to make a scene of a crime. Right. You all know who took part. Right. And who took the ball and broke the one thing. Right. I mean, I would take the fifth commandment to say that. <laughs> well, you can't. Why not? Because that only applies to the USA. Well, it's you know. Oh, but here, you better not start acting about no bad antisocial behavior, you're wrong. 
They're not on the railroad, love. The railroad runs right up the shankle. I didn't know they had trains going up the shankle, did you? <laughs> trains? What are the trains? Railroads? R-A-I-S? It didn't say anything about that, my English. R-E-A-L of the railroad. Oh, so no trains then? That must be a breakdown in our accent. <laughs> Right, come on, I'll have that down on the let's get all around the room. Come on. Keep up, come on. Keep up, stick together. Come on. I'm 
one, and I shut up for a minute, and well, someone's right up at this ball. He'd be at it, he wants a frame. You know, but I'm not like I'm a sporting legend and treat the watch, sport be in motion. What do I do them for? Like bulls or eggs or something? <laughs> that bulls you to take. I want them back in the desk when I trade for them. There's no way he's going to get for them. You can already walk the from the wall. I tell you, I did it, you see you again. I was young and very fit, and if you look at Mania, all the women were chasing after me. You know Georgie Bess? Well, I was Georgie Bess before Georgie Bess. You may say, I was an original. Ah, uh, but when 1954, 1958, just before that famous Sam Trophy winning team in the 60s, Tommy Dixon and them, then I moved on to Ballymena United, but only played for them for one season because I got injured through my leg. That was the end of my football career. But I was a good player and I scored many at home. You see them two medals there. They're Irish League winning medals. See them two over there. They're Irish Cup. That one there. Gold Cup. And the last one there. Kenny Andrew Sheen. You see, you, Lee. You're young and you're fit. You should be playing as much football as you can. Oh, when I think back on it, keep playing for that country team. With some of the best days of my life.
only called the Union Jack when it's full on ships? Yep, you got fucked. Ooh, thank you, smarty pants! Well, did you know? The Union Jack also appeared in corn of many flags of several nations that used to be part of Britain. That's right! My dad just appeared on new steel like every 12 because it had the Union Jack up in the left hand corner. I could never understand until now. Well done. Can't believe a bimbo like you just told me about my fly. Uh, no thanks, like long taken. Well, did you know the Irish fly was adopted in 1916 by the Easter Rising Rebels during the Irish War of Independence? It's still used to continue by the Irish Free State, so it's from my men and nationalists on both sides of the border, as well as the GAA. Here, check this out. The Union Jack combines aspects of three older national flags. England, the Red Cross. Scotland, the White Cross. And Ireland, St. Patrick's Red Salt Pack. Here, look, it says here the flag came about because of the Act of Union in 81, creating the United Kingdom. Cool. Whoa. See another reason why this country's not to buy flags? I can't do it and go tell my dad. He'll crap himself. <laughs> I think we should just have one big flag. Oh, sorry, I'm not sorry. 
really seek there? Let's learn a wee bit about where the instruments we use have come from. I am on a pay flute. Oh, brilliant. Here, do you know how to play the flute? Yeah, well, sort of. Alright, well, sure. Give that a go. <laughs> You need to be better practice. You can't play for three days. Sure, that's why we're here. To learn. Mm -hmm. Alright, now, settle down now. Here's another question for you. Who can tell me what the very first bond, flute bond that is, in Belfast was? Paradoshenka? No. Britannia? You! We clue for you. First flute bond in Belfast, not from the Shanka. Like we went further away than that. STD? No. PUA? No. Pierre, what does STD stand for? Shingle Palace of Boys. Okay, I'm very glad. What does PUA stand for? Pray the Lord, Owen. Okay, then, no, no. What does ABPBF mean? That's the. What about the um, FAO? I'm orange and I know it. Stop! Don't help me! There's a name of one of me in that house. So they. What's your problem? I'm 
it all? Well, you will, if you see you come along every week, you'll not be long picking it up. I'm going to be scumbling me them symbols, but don't you mean it? We <laughs> all time, you've got to start somewhere. Well, I'm still not happy. Let's see if it gets him out the Tuesday night. I'll get to go to my bingo. You! <laughs>
as I walk up and down this road, I remember as a boy, thinking that there seemed to be a bar in every street corner. <laughs> but by the time I was old enough to have a drink, legally, most of them were gone from one reason or another. There used to be 76,000 people up on the shackle, but by the 90s that was down to only 26,000. <coughs> Families who lived there for generations who were suddenly gone. I have seen first hand what one guy called the rape and plunder of the shackle. Some would say the bulldozer has done more damage to the shackle than the bomb ever did. Thank goodness for the sake of the shackle campaign. When the people stood together and made the powers that be listen to what they wanted and needed. We used to have flats in the shackle. We have flats in the shackle now. No. No. We have apartments. <laughs> now, there have been some new houses built on the shackle, but to be such an orange area, not one of those new houses has a size window. <laughs> We're going to see a few more shoppers and tourists on the road. And even if they did make a bit of a mess, sure give me something to do and keep you in a job. Which reminds me, I've been sweeping this road for so long, singing the same old song. And his name is Joe McGraw And he's lately joined the football club For his man of good football And he's a two by two star And he probably has got a person Oh, how are you, Mr. Dobson? I was telling my mates here You used to pay for the three in the early black and white days The Romello Press Here, I think you were from Bonnie Are you not mad to be burned it, Sean? Oh, no, 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 no Now let me out, you know, it's the 11th And see how many it needs finished Who slept? Did you tell me we bought these or what? Oh no, 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 Well, seeing you help me get the air here, sir, I'll help you with your woman. See you in your mitts. Go into that back room there. There's two old cabinets in there. Now take the dark brown one on the left hand side, just below the window, and leave the other one. That's all I have for you. But it's like you'll be able to manage it. Okay? Right. Uh, go ahead. I think I'll go. I'll go get my coat for me. Here, Sammy. How did Melvin tell me he used to play at these for the boys one? Oh, MG. I don't talk school. Do you mean yourself? You're right that puppy with that pony. Here, well, that little story, you tell me something you don't get it, trust me. I like telling myself something, you know. See, when I'm gone, they're gone. You're actually dead on something. You're not so bad yourself when you're mean your tongue. Here, you know what, mate? See, when I'm in Belfry, I always make sure that no one's annoying you that you're okay. You like my granddad, I? I've really had a granddad. Yeah, he told me a lot. I appreciate that. Come on, let's go. Ladies says, like, like. Oh, Lord, it's a bit of 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 a Sammy taught us how to nail each level down so I'm insecure. Ah, he showed us how to paint each the pallets so no how we actually needed for each layer. People are coming from all over the place. The Shankle, Shore Road, East Belfast Binder, everywhere. You should see the tourists who come and stay for ages <coughs> just to see how we build it. Like, here, well, guess what? The Finians are coming. Iconic masterpiece. <laughs> Somebody in my room will call Tommy Stay up to me, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. Here, 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 here. We are famous. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Shank, the falls are going. Do you know they're mad ones? They're even driving about 
a name so I don't get spotted? <laughs> they just can't keep away. Grown men in the area are letting us leave hand as well. There's a rule. Depend on your age. What about I? You actually kind of... Something to do with health and safety? Whatever that means. <laughs> and I will sell you every, every few days to teach you about the cultures of bonfires and buy the half of them. Here, turns out, carry it far and let the gay clean belly on the shore. I never do that. Where are they guns? An army of ants. Hey, Scotty and Sammy, we love it. <laughs>
humble and everybody had a great day. The sun was shining and I was so hot that the penny tree was running out of me. But it wasn't as hot to keep my big money. The embers are still going. Now, we still call the twelfth, but others call it Orange West, because they don't attract more tourists than that name. Now, talking to tourists the other day, this woman, turns out she was French. She left her walking through the falls, walking along the front of St. Old Deschanko. She says to me, Bonjour, I need to take you to the Titanic. Well, I just stood there and looked at her. She was wearing a stocking shirt. <laughs> I says, You need a taxi? She said, Oui, oui. I says, Love, the toilets of our night was taking the day But dressed like that, you might need an ambulance to the A and E. <laughs> She told me that Nancy had a little look on the shanky. She went back with her friends for a proper look. So, it seems things are up on the shanky of the tourists and that. There seems to be a bit of a buzz to so each other coming back to their own. And the corner we had, we saw things can only get better.
Peace.